which you guys today we'll take a look at some useful Windows programs you should use. Now these programs are going to be managing your RAM or your memory. These will help to clear out any sort of cached memory or managed memory that your system is using. So you can see here we've got some uh, memory in use. We've got available memory, committed memory and cached memory. And Windows takes care a lot of this for us. But sometimes when you're gaming or you're doing other things on your computer, intensive tasks, sometimes a lot of this can be used up and it can't be cleared. So what we're going to do is show you a free program to use to clear all of this. Now, gamers in general will always complain about micro stutters and a general uh, running out of memory, especially on systems that don't have a lot of memory uh, to start with, maybe four gigs of RAM or something like that. So I'll show you in this video how we can use free programs to manage our memory a lot better when you're doing a lot of intensive tasks like gaming, video editing and things like that. And this can help reduce a lot of micro stuttering and things like that. So let's first have a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Cells. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 10 Pro or Windows 11 Pro OEM key, then check out the links in the video description. Once you head over to CD Key Cells, you can create yourself an account. And all you need to do then is use my promo code, capital B, capital R, 09, apply this to your order and get a 30% discount on all your purchases. They will send you the key and you can then go to the activation center and use your key to activate what version of Windows you've purchased. Okay, so the first bit of software we're going to take a look at is uh, RAM Idle for Windows 11 and Windows 10. This is cleaning, optimizing and freeing up memory to prevent Windows running really slow. What this software is going to do is allow you to automatically recover RAM after a certain minimum RAM level is reached. It also allows you to manually recover RAM with a single click and easily find out detailed information about your computer memory usage. Now, these programs are essential if you don't have a lot of memory to start with. And once you start opening up browser tabs and other things like that, especially gaming, it can cause a lot of issues where you start running out of memory. And this application will be running it in the background to clear that memory out to make sure that you have some memory available and it stops all of the sluggishness that can happen with your computer. So let's take a look at the application itself. So the website is called tweaknow.com and uh, you can download this uh, program. It is in beta here. I've downloaded it and extracted it. You do get this Windows protection uh, for your PC. This is Microsoft Windows Defender uh, smart screen protection. And again, it's just detecting that this uh, program is an executable file and do you want to run it? So I'm going to say run anyway, and the program should now open. And what we need to do here is install RAM idle on the system. So let's go ahead and click next here. It's going to give us a full installation. So let me go ahead and install this onto the system. Create a desktop icon if you want to install. And now we can launch the uh, RAM idle application. So let's go ahead and do that. And this is it right here. It's pretty basic and simple, but you can enable the RAM optimizer right here. And uh, I haven't really tested this too much, but I found it on the internet and I thought I would give it a try to see how it works. So we've got the targeted free RAM, uh, which you can see here, and the minimal free RAM there. And once you enable it, you can see a slight difference in the memory bar here. So let me go ahead and enable this, and you should see a little reduction in memory use here and it will continuously work in the background and try to reduce that for us once we enable this feature so let's go ahead and uh, have a look at the graph here and it should start working once we do that now we can change these sliders here the targeted free memory and minimum free ram as well and uh, you've got some options available here and you can see there's a slight dip there and it's starting to work away once it changes here. Now, it's not a dramatic difference, to be honest. So maybe I have set this up wrong, but let me know in the comments section below your results as to see whether it has made any sort of difference to you. I'd be interested to read your comments on it. But there is some options available here which you can take a look at in the options uh, section. Let's go ahead and click on the options area here. And again, once we get inside here, you can start this when Windows starts and you can free up RAM uh, on startup after 60 seconds. And there's a bunch of other bits in here. You can disable CPU usage 
uh, detection and a few other settings like a, a shortcut key so you can add that as well now we'll have a little play with this and let you know also in a future video whether it's any good or whether you can get any sort of good results from this um, obviously i haven't tested it fully yet but i just want to have a quick mention here because it's part of the same topic that we're talking about in this video now i think the reason why we're not seeing a lot of difference here is because the system is pretty idle it's not under a massive amount of use i.e gaming or video editing and things like that i think if you start pushing the system it will start freeing up that ram a lot more for us and i think once you're doing that it will literally work a lot better than what it's doing right here because the system is hardly being used at all so maybe put that to the test in a future video now microsoft have also a tool called ram map and what this allows you to do as well is free up uh, some cached ram here as you can see we've got four gigabytes here you can empty uh, the standby list right here so you can click on this and it will empty it you can see it went right down to 289 megabytes from four gigabytes so this is cached memory and if you're gaming this is really going to help a lot so just before you play your game you can use this to basically empty out your cached memory and you can then have less micro stutters and less freezing micro freezes on the screen as you're playing or when you're doing some sort of intensive task now if you want to automate this you can use this program called empty standby list wj32 now you'll notice this is on the wayback machine because this site has gone down for some reason but by using the wayback machine we can go back and get the actual application from their uh, site and you can download it and then you can open up task uh, scheduler and basically create a automated task for clearing out your cached memory i'll show you how to quickly do it in this video it's very useful and uh, i'll quickly download this from wayback machine here and we'll get this set up so i've got the application here what i'm going to do is right click on it and i'm going to go to properties and i'm going to go to compatibility inside here we're going to run this as administrator and that's important so i'm going to click apply and okay there now we've got that done what we need to do here is go to the start button here and click in the search box task scheduler and we can open this up we're going to set up a, a new basic task here for this to run automatically every five seconds to clear out our cached memory so let's go ahead and set this up so on the center here find a blank spot and right click and create new task inside the window here we can now set this up so run whenever users is logged on or off that's important give it a name i'm going to call this empty standby list and right here we've got the radio button where we want what we're going to do next is change this to windows 10 this works on windows 10 and windows 11 and we can now change the user or group that's what we're going to do here open this up go to advanced once this is open you can go down to where it says uh, the find now button so let's go find now and we're looking for system so click on system and then we can click on ok here and you should now see once we click ok again it will give us a different name here it, you can see it says nt authority backslash system that's important and we want to run this with the highest privileges so let's go ahead and put a check mark in there because that is important so we've got this all set up now let's go ahead and put the check mark in here and move on to triggers so next we need to set up a trigger for this so we're going to need to go new trigger click new trigger and uh, from here we're going to go in the list and we're going to set this to on a schedule and that's now done leave it one time here that's okay because we're going to go down to additional advanced settings here so here we're going to repeat every task every five minutes now you can try this out five minutes ten minutes see how it works best for you and we can do this indefinitely right here and this will now run indefinitely uh, on the system for every five minutes and clear out that cached memory you might find ten minutes might be better for you rather than five minutes because five minutes might be a bit extreme but let's go ahead and uh, go into actions and then we we'll go new and from here we're going to start a program and that's fine and we can now browse and browse to that location so there it is right there click open 
And now we have our path set for our program. That's fine. And what we can do now is click OK here. And this will now set. And all we need to do now is click OK. And that will then create our scheduled task. So we're ready to rock and roll here. Let's have a look up the top. You should now see the application. There it is right there. And I can right click on this and run this right now if I want. But it will run every five minutes and it will clear that cached memory for us every five minutes. And if you're gaming and you've got very little RAM, i.e. four gigabytes, it will obviously clean it. And you can see it just cleared it there. And uh, that's how it's going to work. And this will continue to work every five minutes and clear that for us. And you can leave that other program running as well, which will also remove any used up RAM as well. Anyway, I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. These are really important uh, programs, I think, for people that have got very little RAM. And it should help you out if you've got, say, a laptop or you've got some sort of desktop, which is pretty old, that doesn't have a lot of memory uh, in the first place. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Quick shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.